Hi everyone, my name is Nick Newman. I'm a communication studies major at San Francisco State and I'm minoring in education. And this May I'll be graduating, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, a little bit about my work history. So I work at Commodore Sloat School. It's a school within the San Francisco Unified School District. I've worked there for the past four years, working primarily in the YMCA after school program. And I've also spent some time working within the San Francisco Unified School District as a noon monitor. And over my time at Commodore Sloat, I've been able to build a lot of strong relationships with the school day staff, the teachers there. So I didn't really have a challenging time finding a teacher to interview. And the teacher I chose to interview for this assignment was Miss Walsh. And Miss Walsh is one of the three kindergarten teachers at Commodore Sloat. And she's been at Commodore Sloat for 18 years now. Um, so Miss Walsh got her teaching credential through the credential program at SF State. And when she was in the midst of her student teaching, she actually student taught with one of the current kindergarten teachers at Commodore Sloat. And that's something I found interesting because they're very similar in age. And just imagining one student teach with the other was pretty funny for me. It just goes to show how long they've been around at that school, which I think is pretty cool to have consistency and to be able, if you love a place um, and love a community that much, to be able to go to work and have the same positive attitude every day really, really says a lot about the environment that you're surrounded by. Um, anyway, so Miss Walsh, like I said, she got her teaching credential through San Francisco State, and she's currently enrolled in the master's program at State, and she'll be graduating with her master's this May, which I'm really excited about and happy for her. I'm really happy for her. And one, um, one thing Miss Walsh really emphasized throughout our interview was how ch um, hard of a time she had getting to where she's at now. So Miss Walsh took a long time to get her four-year degree just because she was always working full-time and going to school part-time and that kind of slowed things down for her and she was working in retail management and had to um, work all major holidays and she'd be the first one in the store in the morning to open up and the last one to leave close and she was doing this while helping raise her stepdaughter and then at the, around the age of 30 Miss Walsh had her own daughter and that's when Miss Walsh put her foot down and said you know I'm gonna try to get my teaching credential and really go for it because she knew she always wanted to be a teacher she just had a difficult time achieving that credential and she said she was just always overwhelmed by the tests and the deadlines. And so she just never went through with her teaching credential. And then finally at the age of 30, and when she had her daughter, she said, you know, no, it's time I need to get my teaching credential because I do not want to go back to retail management. So she just pushed herself and powered through the credential program. And in the midst of it, she gave birth to her son. So that made the program or, um, achieving the credential all the more challenging. And that was some of the advice that she offered me was to just get my teaching credential out of the way and not put it off. And that's one of my bigger takeaways from our interview because I feel like I've already missed the deadline to apply for credential programs for fall 2018. So I'm using this kind of downtime to make sure I have everything prepped to, um, to apply for credential programs for fall 2019. And I don't want to get sucked into working. I just want to kind of have tunnel vision and my eyes set on achieving my goal of receiving my teaching credential. So that's something that Miss Walsh was really um, elaborate on and emphasized. Just get your credential out of the way. And that's something I really plan on doing and I'm going to try to hold myself accountable to. Um, and when talking about the benefits and the challenges of teaching, Miss Walsh gave a really interesting quote, something that I felt was very powerful and just real, honest. And she said to me, you know what it's like being with kids. On the one hand, you're totally exhausted. And on the other hand, it's totally rewarding. You just love it. I mean, nobody can do it if you don't love it. It will just wear you out and you'll be in a bad mood every day. And just working with kids over the last five years, I feel like that quote is just so real and so true because you can be exhausted. You're putting up with so many different personalities and you have um, all this curriculum that you have planned out and you have to be flexible because you can't always get it all done and you're working hours, um, sometimes longer than an eight hour day. And I understand that you know teachers work nine months out of the year, which was one of the benefits Miss Walsh named in terms of becoming an educator. But it is a lot of work and you do get exhausted and that's there's just constant challenges that are presented. If you can't go through with that unless you have the passion, the drive, if you love it, then it makes it all all um it makes it worth it. 
So that's something. Um, another takeaway I have is just when I'm going through this credential program, knowing that Ms. Walsh has emphasized to me that it's going to be extremely challenging and you just got to keep pushing yourself and pushing yourself and just get it out of the way. Um, during those times, I just have to remind myself why I want to be a teacher. And it's because I love working with kids. I love working with the youth. I love helping kids become them best self, their, their best selves and seeing them grow academically and socially. It's just so rewarding. And it's something I've been um, enjoying for so long. And I for sure want to pursue a career um, doing that. So that's just kind of what I have to remind myself. And a third little bit of advice Ms. Um, Walsh gave me was to surround myself with good people during um, my credential process, just because, you know, you're going to be challenged, you're going to be pushed to the brink sometimes, and you need to have a strong supporting cast around you, people that are kind of experiencing the same thing, or people who have honestly been there, like using the resources you have around you, the teachers, your master teacher, and just pulling information from them and just trying to haul in as much information as you can along the way and just taking advantage of your resources is something I fully plan on doing. And overall, I do want to be a teacher just because I know that I have such a strong passion for youth development and youth education. And my interview with Miss Walsh just kind of backed that and made it go even deeper. And I'm really excited for my future and getting my teaching credential process underway. I'm looking forward to starting to um, apply to schools for fall 2019. I know it seems a bit away, but I'm really looking forward to it. And thank you all for watching my presentation.